Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episode we took some more cities. As you can see we now control pretty much everything on the left. The only cities that we are not currently in control of are, in no particular order, this one here which gives us Gatling guns, this one here which is flamethrowers, this one here which gives us powerful explosives plus 30% damage from explosives, the one here which gives us the grappling hooks air grenadiers so you can do um, air to air sieges a lot better. We've got spiders legs on the right hand side and then finally up the top the grand keel which is good for making really big ships. Now I wanted to make something with the Gatlin guns and the plan was to assault that this episode. We can have a quick look at that here and we can see that they've, got, they've not got a lot so that should be a fairly easy fight. However, I want to I want to change it up a bit. I was going to just assault it with these and I will be assaulting this area this episode but with a different vessel and I don't know whether it's going to work but it's something that people commented about and I thought that's a good idea. Let's give it a go. I've not really... Um, I've not really thought about the design like this, but uh, yeah, I think Baldrick did say to Blackadder, I have a cunning plan, and then it wasn't so cunning, and that could be this. Anyway, let's just go over to design ship, and what I want to do is make a sort of high level ish ish bomber now we've done several of those previously as you can see we've got things like the suspendium dust tanks here and we've made a sort of zeppelin type thing and then underneath that we've clamped the bombays where are we? there we go and we've clamped those now that works until these get hit and once these get hit then it falls out the sky we can also make one where we have the uh, large suspendium dust chamber or um sorry large suspendium chamber or just standard ones as well and that keeps us afloat that's quite good Good. However, because it's quite long, it can be a bit of a problem. Someone suggested we make a ship that's completely vertical as much as you can, and instead of using bombs, we take a bit of a weird approach and use grenades. Now, grenades statistically have a range of 24 meters, but that is based on, I believe, let me just get rid of these and we'll be able to see it, that is based on the forward attack. Is it not placing that? Why is it not showing the that there? Okay, so that I believe it's based on this, not what can go below. I think they can drop from any height. Could be wrong about that, but there's only one way to find out. So the plan is to have the front of the ship like that. We'll then have, obviously, a connection here, and then we'll have it sort of go up towards a knife point. It'll sort of go down and go up. I guess it'll be more like a triangle than anything else. And it'll be quite high level because we are going to use a large suspendium dust chamber to keep this in the sky. So if we get a service ceiling of about 200 meters, I'll be quite happy because I want to really clamp this... Uh, I really want to um, hit this thing with armor all over the place. So let's just crack on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hang on. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 guns on the front there. We want to go over to basic and to corridor with ladder and go straight down. Not going to use the... Uh, not going to use the armoured ones. We've got some quarters, we've got some suspendium, got coal. We're going to go for ammo store and as I said I want to sort of curve it up a little bit. So, um, one, two, three, four, probably there and then we'll sort of go across and then up and then across and up. Uh, somewhere like that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That should be enough ammo for our needs. We're then going to have some... Uh, well, the suspendium chamber has to go there, really. It can't go anywhere else. Um, we can't really connect that there. Although, not to be fair, there would be totally... That would be sufficient. Uh, double like that. That should be fine. And then a fire point, and then a fire point there. Um, currently, service ceiling 221 meters. Already quite low, considering we are going to probably put some steel armor on it. And that would make it... Ooh, 75. Um... I mean, we could have it instead of a high-level one. It's more of a more of a surgical go go forward and take it out that way. I mean, we could do that. We could do that. I mean, if we get rid of things like the fire point there, maybe, maybe that brings it up to ninety-two. Do we need all that coal? Maybe, maybe not. Do we need all this ammo? Actually, that is a lot of ammo considering the amount of weapons we have. How much uh, ammo is in that one? That is a hundred and each one of these will take a total of uh, six rounds and two seconds. So actually yes, that's probably about right I think. That's probably okay. Anyway, we'll get some crew on this one. Quarters, one, two, three. That is a total of, well it says recommended crew 47 so wow, okay. That's a lot of crew. We will have all of those crew in there. We're gonna have probably a 
a bridge up top I think is the way forward. We can also have a telescope on the front and this can go up to there where we'll have a crow's nest because obviously that's always a decent choice and then uh, 40 meters, oh sorry, 51 meters service ceiling, nowhere near good enough. Okay, we might have to alter that one. Uh, we also haven't got a way to uh, make this go forward, which is generally suboptimal. We could have an engine pod on the bottom, although that would probably end up clipping and off something and then breaking. Uh, we could go for that, but then it would, no, that's just not going to work at all. I'm not against using a sail. I do actually want to make a some sort of galleon type thing, but um, like that. But I just haven't got around to it yet. Although maybe that with loads of Gatling guns would be fairly cool. Anyway, so we want a... Do you want a large sail on this one? Two large sails like that? Uh, not overly fast, but it will work. Uh, service ceiling though, 27 metres. It's not even able to keep itself in the air. That's quite bad. So what I might do is... I mean, are we just going to have to change the armour and go for reinforced wooden armour? And 6 metres? No, that's not going to happen. 158 metres if we just go for the wooden armour, that's not terrible. Let's try that then. Let's, let's go for probably faster. Well, higher and faster than, um, than armoured, I think is... Mm, don't know if it's a good choice, but it is the choice we are making. In terms of overlays, we need to have a check on the explosion damage. Oh yeah, the whole thing's going to explode. Uh, we knew that anyway, so let's go to pathing. Pathing seems okay, apart from the water supply isn't great. If we go over to water, uh, it's not terrible. No, it's not terrible. Okay, that's fine. That's, we'll, we, we couldn't handle that. Uh, crew 60, recommend a crew 62. It's a very, very, very... Um, it's a very strange beast to crew because of the size of it. Uh, I haven't got a sick bear. Do I really want one? Probably. I want a repair bear, certainly. So that'll be in resources and repair bear. And then finally, we've got nowhere to... We've got no supply hatches, which three of those should then get it all sorted. So there's our... There's our... Uh, let's turn the overlay off. There's our ship so far. It is a fairly terrible looking ship. Um, just because of the angles and such but let's see if we can change that up so we're going to go up to uh, not decoration we're going to go to modules and then shapes and decoration and we want to put things like um oh, i don't know i mean stuff like that maybe and then that and that and that um which is bringing the height down somewhat but not a not to a silly extent and then we'll have oh, i really want to put a dome on there can't use dome, sadly. Um, we'll have this thing curving round. So we want to say filler blocks, and obviously these do cost quite a bit. Um, how do I want this to go? Do I want that sort of to curve round in that way? I don't really know. Mm. That there, and then that wants to curve round and forward, probably. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it on. It's all just trying it out. Actually, you know what we could do for that bottom bit there? Could have that. Oh, yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Nice. Right, I think, actually, we do probably want that there. And then curve round because that should then fit in. Yeah, it sort of does. It sort of does. Um, but I don't know if I want that piece. Eh, we'll continue on with it. We can always remove it if it looks terrible. That can't go there. Oh, yeah, because of, of how that's set in. Um checking that doesn't that bridge doesn't have ladders does it no it doesn't not the, not that side that's a shame okay we can handle that one so we want to curve that round to there we want to have that it's already curved that's curved um, is that it is that it let's go to the uh, decoration it's um, don't like this bit here we need to have this curved round a bit there it's certainly not the design I was looking for but to be fair I also don't know what design I was looking for I said it was something that was suggested, so I just thought, oh, well, we'll go with something a bit like a... And I knew one of the front tall, and then it sort of to go back up. And the reason that that shape was decided is because, obviously, all of the weapons have to go in one row on the front. And then I knew I wanted this very large suspendium chamber, which meant it had to go on the top because it's got a chimney. So that dictated that sort of thing anyway. Um... I'm just checking here. What sort of is there a curve that goes the goes in? I 
don't know if there is. Mm, they're all sharp bits. No. So I want it sort of to curve in. If I can see where the blue bit is now in this tile, that's the that's the bit I want. And I don't know if that exists. Don't think it does. So I'm guessing just. Do I want to just do that? No, that looks terrible in everywhere. But that might look okay. Hmm. Some of a light on the back. Or three lights like that. Light back down. Lion figurehead. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It does require us to place it there, which is not going to happen. Uh, round lantern on the bottom like that. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be quite bright, this thing. 86 meter service ceiling going the outside there. You've got mouths and stuff like that. I think we'll just put the biggest... Uh, <laughs> The biggest coat of arms on it we can because we don't normally do that. And then let's let's try that then. Okay, so what are we gonna call this thing? Looks like a rudder. <laughs> um, I don't really know. It's currently called the Pestilence. Let's go with that. The Pestilence. So, any other ornate decoration I want to put on? Gold leaf, perhaps? Um. Yeah, you know what? I, I quite, I actually quite like that. Oh, and if we put it there as well. It look cool," he says, without any degree of confidence. Let's try that out. Actually, if we do that, and have the gold leaf like so, I don't totally hate it like that. That might be the way forward. Hmm. You've got all sorts of bits and bobs. Oh, flag maybe. Flag, we haven't got a flag on it. Right, let's give that a go. So, save design. Save. Uh, build. We'll, we'll give it a go, shall we? There's no reason why we cannot. So, unpause it. That's a huge shipyard, so it shouldn't take long. Let's go for build ship, and we're going to build a couple of those. Probably three, actually. How much is it anyway? Oh, it's quite efficient. It's only 1,500. I mean, it might be terrible. But, I mean, we have the money to, to figure this out ourselves. So, let's build a total of five. We'll meet them up in one area. And then we'll go assault. Probably. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh. They're attacking the clockwork wasps. That's okay. <laughs> I thought they were moving elsewhere there. Uh, view city. That's probably a good place to test on. Ah, there's our nemesis though. Aircraft, we can't take it out. We cannot take them out at all. Fire cars destroyed the shining tower. Did it? I'm guessing then it was... Ah yes, it was something that needed to be repaired and was fairly terrible in every way. So, yes. Uh, let's go to build building and we'll build, as always, a white lookout because... It's massive. There we go. So, they're getting built. That needs to move over to there. Obviously, we're going to group all of these up. And then we should have a total of five. And then we'll attack these here. Oh, look at that. They're actually making some more. We could try and... Oh, there's bribe 2% chance or destroy 10%. Uh, it didn't work out. I'm not going to start flinging all my money away at that. I tried that last episode and it uh, didn't work. Now, these are not overly fast at using sails. It would be nice if it was a little bit quicker. We could always change it by putting a propeller on it. But, you know what? We'll see what this is like. It's always... I always find it's best to just... One, two, three, four. Where's the other one? I always find it best to um, just try and make one. 
let's see what it's like. Sorry, uh, tr try and, trying to make a design, rather, and then giving it a go. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, we've got four of them here. Oh, the, was the one somewhere else? There it is. There we go. Okay, so we'll put them all together. And then we will assault. And where do we want to go? We've also we've got a stone guardian there as well, which I will assault at some point. But let's just try and uh, fling them at this problem. I don't know if it's going to work. There's only one way to find out, and that's by by the uh, by the application of um, grenades. Oh, actually, that's a lot lower service ceiling than I thought. I thought it was going to be up here, but uh, no, it is not. However, it should be okay for taking out these. I'm going to keep them stacked as is. Um, and we'll click fight there, and let's just see what happens. You know what? No, I'm just going to flee. That amount of shots available, that's just... No, it's not going to work out at all. Let's run back there. That just didn't work. <laughs> too much too much minigun there. I think we're going to have to get some sieging on that one. So, we're going to go back. Anything that's damaged, we will uh, repair. So, there are a couple of these that are damaged, and we'll see... Where else could we attack? Where else could we attack? Well, we've got this one here. We'll view the city, and we can't take those out. We can take these out. The problem is the suspendium rocks in the way. Yeah, it's just not flying high enough, is it? They need to be. They need to be. There has to be more suspendium chambers on it. I' gonna go to design ship, open design here, and we're gonna get that pestilence, and we're gonna change it up. Two of them. That's flying a lot higher than I thought. Doesn't look great. Also has no one near the amount of crew required. But oh, I can't go there, can they? Um Right, let's see if we can change this up a little bit. Let's try that. We should really go for wooden supply hatch as well. Oh, and I forgot you can't. Oh, no, that, that does work. Okay. Um. I've seen worse. I mean, I made the worst, but I'm just saying that I have seen worse. So, every cloud. Yeah, let's. Let's go with that. Or do I want to change the sails? While I'm on, do I want to get rid of the sails? Question is when I'm going to put it, change it to. Propulsion. Propeller. I'm just putting a propeller in. Not there, I wouldn't be able to, no. No. Um, engine pod. <laughs> it's tempting to put an engine pod down there, but then there's no coal up here. Okay, just for the sake of only doing one change at a time we'll we'll keep it as is we could even put one there if we really wanted to that would give it some more speed but that's okay right okay save design save uh we'll save as the v2 why not um because it is technically the version 2 we're not going to build that what we are going to do is uh refit all of these open design the v2 and refit them all. It shouldn't take long to do. However, I'm not entirely sure which order it's doing it in. Now I know because you can see the thing there. So refit, open the designs and just do them all. And then we'll see what it's like. The server ceiling previously was just too low. For what we what we intended them to do, what the hell? I'm getting attacked apparently. Um. Okay. They're attacking with two rammers and well, two rams, two cannons each. Maybe borders because they're getting close. No, I think they're just trying to get into a better position. But quite frankly, there isn't a better position when there's all this here. It looks like they've already taken some out here though. Um, there's one of their ships just fallen out of the sky, and that's that's not gone one for them. That one's landed on top of the defensive structure. 
that one's been split in half by their own ship landing on there, and that's that's an easy win for for me. I don't know where that was. Where was that? It has to have been. Will it have been up here? has to be around oh, yeah there it was there they sent something from this side okay I knew it wasn't down here because there was no other vessels there so that was easy to discern uh, so one more refit I think and then there's all that and then we will try it out here I think in subtle creek or do we go back there? View City. No. Far too much there. View City. Still quite a lot. View City. Aha! The target. Invade. <laughs> so, we'll get the Grand Keel from this one, which should be good. Currently on minus 11 generic units of currency. Interesting. Interesting. So, this is Stormness. Huge shipyard. Grand Keel as well. And that's like, the height we were looking for. We're going to move all these so they are right behind one another because I have a feeling that these could fall out the sky at any moment. Uh, so we will start the fight. We will immediately move them. And I'm going to move them over to the defensive structure, I think. Actually, do you want to just move them forward like that? Um, and there's the grenades, look. You see the grenades falling from the sky? And, wow, well, okay, that's... That's a lot more effective than I thought it was going to be. I will move these further up to there. Um, obviously, we are getting shot a lot by these planes, which is going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, we've lost the bottom half of this, which is suboptimal. But look at the look at the <laughs> look at the rain! Oh my good grief! They're sort of synchronized as well. They've got this sort of synchronized look going on. Oh, and they they also like to shed their parts as they fall out of the sky. Good grief. That is actually a lot more effective than I thought. Look at the damage it's causing. It's actually not destroying much because they don't cause a lot, but because of their splash damage and the sheer amount of them, they're just absolutely peppering the thing. Now, their problem is that they can't survive long. Oh, they're not surviving long enough, are they? Just the sheer amount of shots they're taking. This is a problem. I'm going to go forward with these. Sadly, we can't go too far forward. Uh, those are going to have to ram to there. Because this one's in the way and we don't have it under command. But we can ram it out of the way. These are, after all, very floaty. So they'll happily uh, get pushed about. Because of this shape... We get a lot of weapons in, in arc, actually. There's another one falling out of the sky and taking one with it, although there it is, and it didn't land on the vessel I wanted it to. Let's move that forward and move that forward as well. Get all them grenades in. Come on, keep going, keep going. How come some of them are... I was going to say some of them are in arc, but they're not. They're not at all. Come on, keep going forward. There we go, so there's the drop. So they've got a very limited arc of fire, but as soon as they get within that arc, it starts to make it rain. However, we've just lost all of our weapons. No, no. Oh, yes, we have. Yes, yes. Um, but that's almost dead now. We've got a couple of flak on it. Where's them shots coming from? Were well, they? I'm sure they were shooting down for a moment. And, uh oh, that's not good. Um, right, so we've lost that. We have actually lost the fight. We can't, we couldn't really win anyway with these things here because we'd have to, well, we, c we could, we could, the way we'd win is we'd have to destroy their landing zone and then them run out of ammo, there's nowhere place for them to land. We're going to flee, so that's most of them destroyed. Move back to there. So, well, all but one destroyed. So what do we think? Um, good idea. Not terrible execution, needs more armour. 
Okay, we might have a V3, and we're going to see what that is like next episode. So, I'm going to repair that. I like that. I just don't think it was terribly effective. Hmm. We're going to work on that, and we will do so next episode. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.